guys, King Jad here, and welcome to my FIFA 13 Road to Recovery Ultimate Team Series here. This is me showing you my progress in Division 2 with both my 532 amazing side and the 352 side. The first is the 532 side up against this 352 BPL team. He's got Ashley Young in that team, and he is overpowered, in my opinion, in this game. As you can see here, nice turn, cracking shot, what a goal past Buffon, and that was just insane. Ashley Young is way too overpowered in this goddamn game. But he will be scoring there against me. I equalised here in the second half with a rebound header from company. I'm not going to lie to you, I struggled playing competitive games with a 5 3 2 team. And look at this, it's one each, and I got a great chance with Di Natale. And I was so disappointed he dragged that shot wide. It looked like it was an easier thing to score, but it ended one each. And my start in Division 2 with this 5 3 2 team is not good. So I go to the 3 5 2 team, the mainly Brazilian team. And uh, it just as a backup to get our players perfect, you know, perfect fitness, whatever. I'm against his random side, and the chemistry's not great, but he's got a random Ashley Young, random ball caught in there to break up the chemistry. But as usual, he will score the first goal here. He crosses it in, I uh, head it away, but it doesn't get cleared away properly. Luis Gustavo's on the. Uh, sorry, I won't say Luis Gustavo for it's his player, Muller. Nor's on the ball, and he scores to make it 1 0. I get a nice little goal back here from Wellington, There's just a bit of skill and then the sheer pace of him going through on goal to make it one each. That is just what Wellington offers. He's a clinical striker but that, his physical stats are unreal in this game. So no wonder he's so damn popular. Pato squares it to Felipe Melo, who turns his man very nicely and just smashes it into that corner. That was a brilliant wee goal. I really enjoyed that goal. But right for half time my opponent does equalise with Muller again. The shot is blocked but it's not kept out. And that is just, that's just, that's just the way it goes sometimes, but Muller gets a second of the goddamn game. But look at this, Blasikowski down the right hand side, crossing it in, and it's a bit of a sweaty goal, but Diego scores a header to make it 3-2 to me, and then, Jesus Christ, he's back again. He is back again on the attack, and look at this bullshit goal, it breaks, I tackle him, and it breaks perfectly perf to Falcao, and now it's free each. But, uh, 73rd minute here, I'm down the left hand side with Pato, nice little Berber spin. I just get some space myself and I smash it into the far corner. It is 4 3 to me. And I am going to pick up my first 3 points in Division 2. I'm now on 4 points for the season after the first point with a 5 3 2 team. So we're, we're, on, we're on the way to the, the, the title anyway. 4 points so far. Go back to the 5 3 2 team. Can we get a victory this time with them? We're against this 3 4 2 1 Brazilian team. Neymar always causes me problems. This guy's also got the updated Gremio version of Wilton, so he's it's a recent team, or at least he's upgraded it recently for the Gremio version of Wilton. But he's got he able to score with Neymar, and he's got a nice little celebration of having him shooting his teammates. I actually like that celebration, but equalise into the second half here with Toure. It is 1 1. Nice chest and volley combination there from Yaya Toure. I then make it 2 1 here. Di Natale down the left hand side. Good stuff there, but Berber spin again. Cut back inside, you know what I mean? Spinning, turning back inside out, and Balotelli is there with the header, and he does the Balotelli. Why always me pose as well? It is just made for him. But my opponent gets a goal back right at the end here, 90th minute here, cross back in, Wellington for the header, Buffon is rooted to the spot, and Wellington equalises right at the death to make it 2 2, and he shoots his teammates again. So the game ends 2 2, and for the second time in a 5 3 2 team, I drop points and I draw again, so it's 5 points, 7 games to go to try and get a title. I go back to the 3-5-2, mainly Brazilian team, and I'm against this rather strange Dutch team. I don't understand it, 4-5-1 team. But it's actually a pretty solid team and the opponent was a pretty solid player. I get the opening goal here, pacing through a Wellington, nearly half time, I just got a fault, okay, no messing about, I'm through and goal, just smash it past the keeper, it is 1-0. And then things get a little bit more easier for me when Diego makes some space for himself. That was a gorgeous wee turn, and it's a simple little finish into the far corner, nice little finesse shot. And things get even better for me. This is a crazy goal. Uh, I play 1 2 with Wellington Diego. Diego hits a shot, it's saved. Defender gets a touch onto it, hits another defender, hits a goalkeeper, and it bounces over the line, and it's Diego's goal. It is Diego's goal from my initial shot after all like three or four deflections. Can't understand why, but I get a lucky break there. Yeah, but I was all over this guy to be fair, as you can see here. Look at Wellington. He just shows that guy to the ground. He uses his pace and his strength and the sheer power and he scores pretty comfortably and it is now 4-0. My opponent gets a goal back here. Nice ball from earlier through to Emnes. First time shot past the goalkeeper. That was a pretty nice goal. I couldn't do much about that. That was a well worked goal. But um, the goals are not over there because I go through a game with Diego. Look at Diego's skill on the ball. Great. 
Great control, great ball control, nice finish past the goalkeeper, it's 5-1, and that is how this game will end. Good news, we are not going to get relegated from Division 2, hooray, we're going to stay in Division 2 at least, will we get promoted? Uh, well, hopefully so, I'm going to try a 5-3-2 team again, and try and win with them this time. I've had two draws so far with a 5-3-2 team, who have disappointed me so far, and this guy's got a random Eto as a cam, but he's actually in the cam position, so the guy looks like he's fought long and hard about the team when he's made it. He if not for chemistry reasons, at least for positional reasons. I play a little nice little one-two here. Balotelli across to Di Natale. It was a one-two, great pass from Di Natale to rip Balotelli through. Balotelli shrugged off Jordi Alba, but he beat Jordi Alba in strength and a bit in pace as well. So I'm one nil up, and then across it here, but it gets blocked, and the ball just keeps breaking back to me, and finally gets back to Balotelli, and Balotelli will make it 2 0 very simple goal in the end, and I am on my way to winning with this team for the first time in Division 2. And uh, it's just it gets better from me as well, it gets even better because look at Adina Tal, just says, fuck it, I'm going to smash this into the top corner! It is 3 0 to this 5 3 2 side of mine, this very expensive, was it 310,000 coins, I think it was, that it cost to make a side. But just a lot of great players in these positions. Balotelli, great turn, and look at the skills. That's just a little simple step over or whatever. It just, that was a beautiful goal, that was one of my favourite goals of this team. It's just such a great little individual goal from Balotelli, and there was nothing fancy about it. It was like two star skills at most he was using to get by his opponents, and it was beautiful. So that's when we won the game 4 0, and we're on 11 points, we just need three more points for the promotion and six more points for the title. So we go back to the 3 5 2 team, and hopefully we can beat this guy who's got an insane little side here. This is a perfect chemistry team with all sorts of different leagues and nations and I really like the look of the team actually to be fair and he helps the scoring with his Alonso, his Alonso opens the scoring, drawing it in from the edge of the box but I get a nice little equaliser here, I spread the ball out wide to Rubinho who cuts inside of a scoop, uh, scoop turn and he just drills it into that far corner and his one each thanks to Rubinho and his 5 star skill shining through for me. Welton's in on a ball and he just does a uh, cuts inside, passes it into Alexander Pato and Pato makes it 2-1. I am now winning 2-1 in this game. Thank you very much. But look at this bullshit goal. I'm not even going to say anything. Look at it. Just look. Just keep looking. Seriously, what the fuck is that bullshit? I mean, what the fuck is that? That is so. That is just disgustingly obvious that. I mean, I, I know I blame EA for a lot of things, but what the fuck was that? And then he scores a pretty nice simple goal with De Rossi there. So the guy actually just makes it 3-2, and there's a little moonwalk to celebrate, and he should celebrate because he wins 3-2. This is my first loss in Division 2. I don't lose a lot of games, but when it does happen, it does make me happy, I'll put it that way. So I I had a mentality of going straight into a game. I didn't want to wait. I just thought, okay, 5-3-2 team, I'm going to bitch slap some bastard all over the place. And he's got his very interesting 4-3-3 team, mainly Silvers, and he's got a bit of pace there as well. Sterling and Saha, and he's got uh, Beckford as well as a striker. Look at this from Beckford. First time shot from 30 yards out, and he beats Booth on. Boo! Shit on that! There's no way Beckford will ever, ever in his life score from 30 yards past Booth on. Only in fucking FIFA. Anyway, he nearly makes it 2-0 there actually, but I managed to get away with it and to clear it. And actually from this we get an equaliser. Look at the nice passing going on here. Uh, I turn away from a man there. Try and just kind of, you know, start again. Balotelli, look at the skills of Balotelli, the ball control, the skills, the finish from Balotelli. It is 1-1. And we have back level in this game, and it was not long until I made it 2 when the keeper, the keeper gets, comes out and I block the clearance. My opponent actually this, uh, struggles to clear it properly. It breaks to Di Natale, who just cuts inside, not even like a skill move, it just turns past the player, faces away and drills a shot past Hugo Loris, and it is 2-1 to the good guys. Balotelli just waits for the opponent, you know, I was waiting and waiting and waiting, because he was containing a lot, so Mycon tackles him back, and Mycon goes on a wee run here, finds a pass there, outside of the foot, Gorgeous pass there, that's Danny Alves quality pass. And then I look at Di Natale, just makes a mockery of the goalkeeper here. Goalkeeper and defender, pass ball for him, crossing it back in. And Mycon keeps up there and he heads into the empty net to make it 3 1. Di Natale though, taking the piss out of Hugo Loris was quality. I then go through here and chip the goalkeeper with Di Natale and again. Di Natale is just one of the best players in the entire game. He's got fantastic attributes. He's a great striker. He's a great cam as well. He's going to cam our centre forward. He's a fantastic player. Uh, so yeah, I win that game. I'm on 14 points. I get promotion, but I want to win the title. 
So to get this idol we go to the 3 5 2 side yet again and we are up against this 4 2 3 1 mm, but it is Bundesliga side, I was going to say mainly Bundesliga but it is a Bundesliga side and he's got some interesting players in there including Eschwein Striker. So this guy's a bit of a pace abuser but Diego turns his man lovely, goes past the challenge, past the side and challenge, goes round the goalkeeper and into the back of the net to make it 1-0 to the good guys. We are on our way to the title here. Fantastic stuff there. And then I get a tackle in there. We counter attack again. This guy's pushed so many players forward trying to get an equaliser himself. So I go around as goalkeeper. This guy is just completely losing the plot. He's far too rash. And this game would be the easiest game of the bunch for me. I'm going to spoil it now for you and say this guy won't even last to half time. Uh, I, I can't work my way here. I work my way in. I get a cross in there. It's pried away to the back post towards Wellington. Who's got a simple finish in the end? 3 0 is all my opponent could take. He kicks off and then he pauses and and rage quits after only 20 minutes. We have won Division 2 with some style, with some panache. And after all that said and done, we've won a title, hurry for that. And after all of that, we are going to transfer list the whole bloody lot of them. Every single player is gone, and we are saying sayonara to a lot of them. Thank you for your efforts. We're going to try and make a bit of profit on every single one of you motherfuckers, and then build some more teams in future. And the 5 3 2 team, my thoughts on the 5 3 2 team. I played friendlies when I made a squad builder video. I went and made a, uh, made a squad builder video after playing two friendlies with them against two different people, and they were incredible for me. But playing competitive games with them, I found it pretty difficult. I don't, I don't know if it was a playing style hard or what. It's really tough for me to put my finger on it. But um, yeah, I, I just think that as solid as the team was, it, it wasn't actually, all the players had high ratings, very solid ratings, and Mycon is a brilliant player, I'm going to use Mycon again definitely in the future, Marcello probably him as well, he's a great wee player, and, and guys like uh, Company are pretty good, the, the players were good, it was just a set up, the formation, I was not happy with the set up information, but I'm going to try uh, different teams in the future, uh, so you can look forward to that, but that's me winning Division 2 with both those teams, I got there in the end, this has been King Jad, hope you enjoyed the video, peace out!